Hey everyone, welcome to this, your next installment of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. This is your source for informative and timely tech topics about Golden Gate software, data replication, and cloud data integration. The industry leading data replication software for more than 20 years, Golden Gate is still innovating today and helping thousands of leading brands get the most business value out of their data. As a multi-cloud capable replication engine, Golden Gate helps customers maintain seamless integration across their public clouds. But what makes Golden Gate really special is the breadth and attention to enterprise class solutions for databases, cloud, big data, NoSQL, and streaming technologies of all kinds, not just Oracle. Golden Gate's rock solid foundation is the best in class for data high availability, high speed transaction replication, and data warehouse loading. But modern data challenges require the most innovative solutions and Golden Gate delivers on world-class data lake ingestion, stream data processing for real-time ETL, and advanced stream analytics that include geofencing, time series processing, and machine learning integrations. As a platform for modern data integration, Golden Gate just can't be beat. Well, that's about it for the intro. Let's get on with today's tech topic. Okay, well, let's get going with this discussion around data streams and data pipeline processing. So the streaming platform is used to build real-time data processing uh, pipelines. It can be used for smaller projects, but it can also be used for uh, very large, massively paralyzed projects uh, around big data. Uh, the central focus for stream processing is to really drive actionable insights or business rules from data wallets in motion and memory and you know, in very uh, real-time manner. It actually aligns really well with what we see from the Golden Gate use cases, which is effectively providing an event-driven interface into mission-critical database systems. So you can imagine all those interesting business transactions uh, flowing continuously out of any database of your choice and then making those transactions instantly available for stream processing. That's pretty much what we're doing with streaming. In today's topic, we'll look at how to use stream processing platform together with Oracle Golden Gate for data replication. So for building data pipelines, uh, we typically can see uh, data being ingested here in this graphic on the left, uh, both from database events uh, through Oracle Golden Gate, and that works with any of the supported database platforms that Oracle Golden Gate is uh, typically certified with. And we can also bring uh, events uh, from any standard interface to uh, Kafka Connect library. So that includes uh, some data stores as well as event-driven systems as well as uh, some additional SaaS applications. What we do in the uh, data pipeline tool uh, called Oracle Stream Analytics is we're able to select predefined uh, processing patterns or build uh, custom uh, data pipelines that allow uh, your data engineers to basically craft real-time pipelines for uh, manipulating data in real time. That could be for the purpose of transforming data for, uh, for the processing downstream, but it could also be used for thresholding and alerts. Uh, other machine learning functions can be plugged in, for example, for scoring, so that you can get uh, data values out of the, the data uh, while it's moving through in the pipeline. These pipelines are built graphically. You can see the second picture on the, the right. Um, we have built-in uh, geofencing. I mentioned before you can integrate with machine learning scoring algorithms on a real-time basis. Uh, developers and data engineers here provided a, quite a lot of flexibility on uh, how to craft uh, the, the data pipelines themselves. They are uh, provided with predefined templates as accelerators. Quite often, it's pretty typical we see with our customers that they can get going uh, within just a couple of weeks, actually moving from the beginning of a project to something that's deployed and in production. Uh, from a downstream basis, uh, quite often uh, the dashboards and the alerts provided through the stream processing tool is sufficient to fulfill a use case, but occasionally it's necessary to output the data itself into downstream targets. So for example, into an autonomous data warehouse, for reporting into a data lake, which could include an object store uh, or Elasticsearch or some other uh, repository for, for analysis. And then we can also output the events and the alerts and the messages uh, to standard REST APIs as well as to uh, PubSub uh, bus such as Kafka. So uh, the kinds of use cases we uh, see around stream processing, pretty wide and varied. Some of them are, are quite uh, typical. You uh, will uh, no doubt have heard of use cases around fraud detection, being able to instantly detect uh, fraudulent behavior from uh, correlation of different activities in, in real-time systems. 
Uh, you probably have heard of a logistics and route optimization for uh, shipping and transportation uh, companies that are looking to optimize how dri drivers move about uh, based off of their um, the, the the cargo and their uh, their route planning. Um, there are also um, uh, some interesting uh, real-time marketing use cases around retail, for example, uh, being able to push promotions, coupons, offers to individuals based on their location, their previous browsing history, their previous purchase history, etc., uh, with the idea of um, uh, improving conversion uh, rates of ads and, and promos uh, based on uh, better timing and more relevancy in, in how those ads are targeted. Uh, really across all these uh, different industries, there's some very interesting use cases. A um, lot of uh, overlap here with Internet of Things or IoT, uh, for example, being able to uh, provide uh, telemetry on uh, devices and uh, things, uh, physical uh, things deployed out in the real world, and then uh, correlate uh, events, uh, actions, uh, and, and input uh, based off of those, uh, those alerts uh, that get driven from uh, physical devices. And then uh, really what we're going to drill down uh, in today's uh, demo and, and topic is around IT data management and combining a stream processing model with uh, enterprise uh, data management use cases such as uh, uh, looking at data replication events from uh, systems, applications, and databases. And so what we're able to do here is really uh, look through at the, the, the database uh, through the lens of an event processing system, seeing inserts, updates, deletes, um, even schema events, uh, for example, uh, adding uh, columns or altering tables. We see those as events that can be projected downstream and then consumed by a wide variety of consumers uh, throughout uh, not only the IT organization, but the various lines of business uh, that are actually taking data from the IT environments. And so that'll be kind of one of the industry areas that we drill down on today. Uh, we're looking at providing a, a follow-up stream processing uh, demo that really focuses around retail uh, and uh, doing uh, event-driven uh, promotions using some of the geofence capabilities. So look for that as a follow-up video. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and drill into this use case here around IT and data management. What we provide uh, with Golden Gate is a complete solution. So Golden Gate is uh, really used as that data replication environment, uh, supporting uh, quite a few different uh, upstream databases. We can see a, um, a DML events as well as DDL events uh, coming in from the left. It's the Golden Gate for Big Data process uh, that actually receives uh, those events as the replicate and then pushes those events into uh, predefined uh, Kafka topics for raw data consumption. And from there, uh, the stream analytics environment is used to pick up those events uh, and those transactions uh, from the raw data environment in Kafka. And you can do a, quite a wide variety of uh, different processing patterns. You can do some ETL type operations. You can do filtering, aggregates, correlation uh, activities. You can uh, classify the data. You can look for anom anomalies. Uh, you can define clustering algorithms, et cetera. You can even pull in uh, geofencing or geospatial capabilities. You can plug in regression models uh, from machine learning algorithms, et cetera. It's a very rich, uh, developer environment for data engineers, and uh, we'll see a demo of that in just a minute. Uh, when we look at uh, stream processing, we really see that as part of the overall Golden Gate platform. So you got a, a brief intro at the beginning of this video uh, talking about the wide variety of sources and targets we cover with Golden Gate. And then when you look at the lower uh, right-hand side of this chart, uh, it's really where the stream analytics and stream processing comes in. And this is where we can do uh, quite a bit of the data processing uh, that happens uh, typically after the data is replicated from one physical location to a second physical location. That's when the data processing steps come in. And that's something that is now uh, built in very close uh, to the Golden Gate platform. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at a demo of how to use uh, Oracle Golden Gate with Oracle Stream Analytics. Hello, in this demo, I'd like to show you how Oracle Stream Analytics or OSA works as part of Oracle Golden Gate for Big Data. I'd like to start by showing you where the data is coming from through a Golden Gate extract process. 
So this is OSA. Let me minimize this and show you the setup that we have for Golden Gate. So we have an extract running here, listening to transactions happening on an Oracle database. So we have an extract and a pump process running here. And the pump is connected to a replicate process here in the Oracle uh, Golden Gate for Big Data, and it's writing to Kafka. So let's start by starting some database transactions here. So I am sending some inserts and later on some updates, deletes, and more inserts into the database. And this is extracted from Golden Gate, then sent to Golden Gate for Big Data, and then written into Kafka. So this shows how the different events appear in Kafka. So all of this is passed over. And then this Kafka topic is read by the Oracle Stream Analytics. So Let's go into the pipeline for Oracle Stream Analytics that reads this. So we have a replication demo here. And as I'm opening this, it's starting the pipeline. And the pipeline is reading from the topic that we just saw. And uh, you will see here the different events coming in into the topic. So you see different insert, update, and delete uh, events coming in. and this particular pipeline shows three different ways what you could do with these kind of events. The first branch up here deals with operational analytics on Golden Gate events. So we just want to get general statistics about insert updates and deletes. In this case, for example, we want to just count and display how many insert updates and deletes are happening on my database. So I'm getting these events in. I'm summarizing them, so I count the different op types, and I want to visualize them. So in the visualization here, you have a live display, and you'll see every five seconds how many insert updates and deletes are happening. And down here in the pie chart, you see what is the proportion of these three different event types. So you can in real time look at these different values. And we also show you here in the second branch that you can do more sophisticated analytics on this. In this case, we want to look for a special occurrence, what we call fast deletes. And with fast deletes, we mean occurrences where you in a record and then within a minute you delete it again. And this is a complex thing to find with stream analytics. You have to look at windows and you have to correlate multiple events together. And normally you would have to write complex streaming SQL for to find this. And in this case, we can use the pattern library of stream analytics in order to just fill in a pattern form. In this case, we have a pattern uh, event A followed by an event B. And with A, we mean an insert. And with B, in this case, we mean a delete. And this should all happen within one minute. And this particular stage looks for this. And you see down here already what we have found. So it shows you the interval, some of them within a few seconds. And we can now take this and we can summarize it and visualize it here. So we summarize it every five seconds. And uh, we visualize it. How many of these fast deletes happen every five seconds? So you see here in this uh, it was 11 and then 6. So you see every 5 seconds how often this is happening. And then we can define thresholds based on that. In this case, we want to find a threshold of at least 15. So I have this filter here. If the number passes 15 within 5 seconds, I want to send out an alert. So we'll see is any of these 15 thresholds happening. So this is all random, so it might take a while for this to happen. And once this is happening, we'll send out an alert. The second branch here is uh, using our ability to reconcile Golden Gate events that just have individual transactions of insert, update, and delete, and reconstruct the original table based on this. So if I go to this, it takes the insert, update, and deletes, and it will 
create the values based on the individual upsert or up, uh, update or delete statements. And once you have this, you can do further analysis on this data. So I'd like to get business data for the US West region based on the ongoing transactions. And in this case, first, I want to filter only events that happen in the West region. So I'm filtering out a few states. And you see here, this is limiting the amount of records that are going through. Then I'd like to summarize the data. First, I'd like to count how many for each state are happening. And then I'd like to calculate the average of each average discount for each customer and then summarize it by state. And finally, after I have all these values, I'd like to visualize it. So I can go in here and I can visualize this information. First, I get how many customers for a given region are coming in, and then what is the discount for each state. So in this data is live. So as events are coming in, the data is updated and shown here. So you can use Golden Gate ongoing real-time data in order to extract business information and show it. The third branch here shows you real-time ETL, where you get data in, and you can go ahead and you can enrich it with additional data coming from a database. And in this case here, we have green color coded the information coming from the events out of Kafka an orange color coded additional information that is coming from a database table. So you see this information, first the customer names and then additional store information of the store this customer is associated with, which is coming from the database. So with this enriched data, you can then do additional transformations, additional preparation of this data and finally write it out into a target. So this is a quick demo that shows you what you can do with Golden Gate for Big Data in combination with Oracle Stream Analytics. Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to this edition of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. Be sure to check out all the other cool tech talks that are out there and stay tuned for more as they become available.